For the last three years, we've been living here, off-grid in the middle of the woods with no running water. We've been able to get water at a local spring by filling our five gallon jugs, as well as in the spring and summer months, we have a 12 volt pump that we can use for cleaning as well as watering our gardens. And in the winter, we've even resorted to melting snow to take baths in a Rubbermaid tote. Do you feel good? Um, I feel cheap. <laughs> It has been a long road to get here with so many sacrifices made along the way, but today things are about to change. The well fitters are actually just pulling in the driveway now, so the first thing we need to do is come up with a plan to bring it all together. Let's get going. So that cable here, I'll probably just take it out there and run it and I'll strap it alongside the wall so it's nice and straight. Cool. Yeah. So first step, we need to get this up on the wall then? Yeah. Okay, I think this is probably a good spot for this. Okay. So if we went like that. Yeah. Boom. You're tall. <laughs> I couldn't reach out of my drawing. Yeah. We've been able to save money on ladders. <laughs> yeah. Right. What does that stuff do? Just seal it? Yep. Helps it slide in easier too. Yeah, it's perfect. Good? Nice. Oh, wow. We actually, like, we have no experience, so we've gotten pretty good at hiding our f up. So yeah. that look purposeful. <laughs> <laughs> just like hope it works out. It's perfect. So now Todd is just fastening on some little clamp clips to clean up the wires and make it look nicer. I think it looks good. Yeah, his OCD is getting the best of him, and he's kind of annoyed that this is brown and not white. But it'll be painted later today. Do you think you'll be able to cut in? Oh, yeah. Glass of wine, and I'll have this all painted. Actually, a bottle of wine, let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> no more shower, no Okay, so now what we need to do is drill the holes in the shipping container for the water lines. This is like so exciting years in the making it, i know i can't even believe it yeah we're still a little bit away from having water at oh, yeah. the dome but just having a central place that we can take our jugs to on the property and fill them up like this is wild, wild. i don't think people understand how exciting this is like we must have done like a hundred trips to the spring in the last few years this... that's how you got so jacked <laughs> <laughs> so stupid watch the rest I'm just coming around to the other side. Todd's about to drill. You're so close. Yay! That one took a lot. Yeah. I did, did not though. want a hole. <laughs> Didn't want to be penetrated. <laughs> oh, I knew you couldn't leave that one. <laughs> no, just pull as much as you can. Okay, uh, that's good. Is it better to do a 90 up so that this can be in yeah. the line, like think going up the wall? I think it's probably what we'll do. I think it'll look nice. Some just, of those clamps. Yeah. Yeah. Just sit right like that. I will go outside and connect the pipe out there. You ready, bud? You have no idea how exciting this is. We've oh, lived here for three years without water, right? It's gonna be so worth it though. It's worth it. Like it's Oh yeah. Like the sacrifice. Well, look where you're at now. Yeah. yeah. You're well on your way. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this said that. I was just gonna go like this and yeah, around. We don't specialize in anything, but we know a little about a lot. <laughs> I like that saying. Okay, <laughs> man. <laughs> time for uh, time for the pump. Okay, so now that all the work is done inside the building, it's time to finally put the pump in the well. So we're using a one horsepower pump that's gonna go 240 feet down into the ground and pump water up to us. This is really exciting because we're gonna have unlimited permanent water. Like wild, who would have thought? <laughs> Hello, is anybody down there? Yes, <laughs> yes, let me out of here. So we're using your cable. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know. Maybe a couple of dollars. Goodbye. See you never. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in 30 years. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we're not being very helpful, but I don't know what to do. Like we can cheerlead them on. Let's go, boys. Get our pump on. Put a garden hose on because they're going to get air and water into the lines. So rather than it 
going on the floor everywhere. We're just gonna run it outside the building. Can you believe it? Like, has it, how are you feeling? Um, I don't think it's really gonna be real. Like, I, just our luck, something always goes wrong, <laughs> you know? So I'm not, like, counting my eggs until they hatch. Yeah, fair. I mean, with the electrical, as you know, it was like, so many highs and lows, so it probably is better until it's... Yeah. Yeah. Set yourself up to be happily surprised rather than disappointed. Realistic expectations. Okay. We're so close. Okay. All right, so my job is in the ditch, waiting for the water to come out of the garden hose, and you can hear it. It's coming. That's all the air. Oh my God. Now we're just gonna do auto start. Wow, look at that. Who wants a drink? <laughs> <laughs> now we need to figure out filtration. Thanks guys. Years and years of dreaming and planning. And working in the trenches. Like yeah. this was this was a huge win for us and I think we needed this. Massive. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel very good. Yeah. Like, this just sounds so beautiful hearing running water. We have to flush all the water out of the well. So that's what we're doing right now, is just slowly running it through, but Got a lot more to do in this yeah. <laughs> in this little building, I'll tell you that. I think the next thing we're gonna do is tackle the floor. Um, we've got another project happening later this afternoon, so yeah, may as well just keep at it. Let's go. Can we get a snack first though and a little peckish? Yeah, and say hi to the boys at least. Yeah. <laughs> what are we thinking for lunch? I'm sure I can guess, yep. Instant Thought noodles. So. This has become a real problem here, like every single day for lunch, we're just having instant noodles. It's just easy with everything going on, so. Oh, we should also mention, in last week's video when we covered the big window, we left it up for a little bit, but then ultimately we had to take it down because we were missing the view too much. Like, like it's too beautiful. And it was really dark in here, and all we wanted to do was just eat snacks, <laughs> play Mario Kart, and go to bed. So yeah, we packed away a few Mr. Noodles <laughs> in that one, didn't we? All right, let's pour these out. Okay. So this is what the boys do all day when we're working and they're not allowed outside. They sit right here in front of the fire. Look how sweet they are. But I guess you guys keep us safe, right? This is our security system. Yeah, our security detail. I do want to sit in front of the fire, but I'm not going to make them get out of their spot. Okay, Thank you, hun. I'm going to get them a little snack too. It's not fair that we're eating and they don't have anything. And then you can have one of those. Squirrel just bumped the stool, she said. Is that the treat jar? Do you want some squirrel? Dad's got to go back to work. Oh. Dad, see, so gotta go back to work, yeah. Bye, Sorry, buddy. boys. We'll hang out with you after, okay? We'll have extra snuggles tonight. Mm -hmm. and the very first thing we're going to do is reinstall our in-floor heat that we did last week, and that is a huge shout out to Thank all you. of you in the comments who pointed out that we did it completely wrong and would have either burned the building down or just malfunctioned the heat. So. We did it every row, so they fit in those little grooves. Anyway, we did it every row and it needs to be every third and every second, like... Yeah, so anyway, uh, <laughs> we're gonna redo it now and then we're gonna get started on laying the floor. So let's quickly do this because we should be experts by now, right? <laughs> Second time's the charm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> three stud spacing. So that's three of you and then I can run another row. No. <laughs> Absolutely uh, not. Are we sure we can install this over yeah, LVP? Yeah, 100%. Okay. It technically says we need a cementous self-leveling underlayment, but I don't think we need that. I think you should call Schluter and ask. I am looking for the Schluter. Substrate penetration. Ask them about that one too! Hello? Schluter? <laughs> Oh, okay. That was not the news I wanted. She didn't even like, she didn't even seem sorry. <laughs> That's what hurts. I want to get the in floor heat. I want to get going on the tile. Like, let's take this serious. What a joke. So on the next swoop, we can swoop around. One, one swoop, one loop. One loop. We'll do a loop, do loop in and out. 
kind of like when we have to go to social events. We do one thing, talk to enough people so that people remember we were there, and then peace of the f We have so much to do, Todd. I know. It is way too many hours later. We finally did finish the in-floor heat, though. I hope you're proud of us. It was I'm calling it a win today. It was very touch and go. Honestly, it's days like today where figuring out what we're gonna eat for dinner is the last thing on our mind. But luckily we don't have to, and that's thanks to the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you can skip the trip to the grocery store and get back to doing more of what you love. With chef-inspired recipes delivered to your door, over 40 different recipes to choose from every week, there's no reason to not try HelloFresh today. On the menu tonight, we are serving up savory braised chickpeas, and let me tell you, it smells amazing in here, and we're just getting started on cooking. Typically, when we go to the grocery store, we buy a bunch of ingredients that we're never gonna use or we don't really know how to combine them, but HelloFresh has all of the ingredients pre-portioned, so you know when you start cooking, it's gonna be a really good home-cooked meal. From calorie or carb smart, veggie like we're having tonight, there's something for everyone to enjoy. And you are not gonna believe what HelloFresh is hooking you up with. When you head to HelloFresh.com and use our code Tyler and Todd65, you are going to get 65% off your order plus free shipping. Yes, you heard that right, that is not a typo. 65% off your order and free shipping when you use the code Tyler and Todd 65. What do you think? Time to eat? Oh, I'm so ready to <laughs> it eat. It smells so good. <laughs> it does. Okay, let's dish this up. It was so good. Like, the flavors, wild. Tens across the board. Tens, tens, tens. Yeah, do you know what's not tens across the board? Tomorrow. Oh. There is so much work to do tomorrow. I'm kind of in a little bit of denial. I'm also in a little bit of denial that we have to clear everything in front of the TV, to watch TV, to relax, to forget about all the things we need to do. Yeah. <laughs> we really set ourselves up for success. <laughs> There's always tomorrow. Exactly. All right, well, we're gonna unwind and we'll see you in the morning. Okay. Wow. So, tiling in a uh, very snowy day. Doesn't seem like the best idea, but here we are. Couldn't be more Canadian. <laughs> very Canadian. That's right there. Speed set. Professional. Because we're trying to be professional. Rapid setting, thin set, and order. This is the tile we're going with. We liked it because we thought it looked like cement. Plus, they were on clearance. You can go out too, right? Oh. 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 Wish us luck. Wow, look how beautiful that is. Oh, wow. You know what? It's these special little views and moments like this that make all of the work worth it. Because you don't get that in the city. You really don't. Plus, they'd also be plowed by now, so you wouldn't have the beautiful untouched snow. <laughs> okay, why don't we work really hard and fast? And we'll get this done. Then we're gonna do it hard and fast. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do... <laughs> do you see a caulking gun in here? I see it. No oh, way. I see it. <laughs> Plot twist. How do we feel about cutting each tile into a unique shape? And, or we can just shatter them and do like oh, mosaic. Oh, a mosaic. <laughs> yeah. Be way easier. Just hear me out. Start in this back corner and just get the tile done to like here. No, we should have just poured self-leveling concrete and called it a day. But what happens if the building's secretly, like, imagine if it's so unlevel that we pour it down, we're like, well, this is good, and we come back tomorrow and it's dry, but it's all, like, in this corner like that. We need a two in there, so I will take two off of a full one, put it there, and guess what? We're starting. Okay, let's do it. Good job, team. <laughs> wow, it's really beautiful. The snow is blowing off the trees. I feel like Cindy Lou Who right now. And this isn't supposed to be here, this. Can you put these in? I got gloves on and I don't want to take them off. Just <laughs> wiggle it around a bit and you'll eventually start to go in and then just push. Yeah, you should be working on mortar. 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 Morty, we need some mortar. Oh my god.
You know what? If we ever had a tile company, we would be rich if we charged by the hour. Oh my god. <laughs> Highway robbery. Okay, so here's the situation. The tile, I have like four tiles laid and we just ran into a huge problem the flooring is not level we were joking earlier about maybe we should just put self-leveling compound down on the floor um because it would be easier well that's actually what we have to do because there's no way these tiles are so long um they're 12 by 24 tiles so you have to think about it one side if it's higher than the other it distributes through the whole tile and just like makes a mess everywhere we're never going to get these perfect you can see this groove right here like look at this should be flush the, my fingers running right into it so there's no way to get this down it's always going to be raised self-leveling compound would have solved that so that's what Todd's gonna get at the store now, and then hopefully we can quickly get this done. <clears throat> okay, so, good news. Todd is back from the hardware store. Yeah, had to go to two to find the product, but we got it. So, we have a primer that's a self-leveling, allegedly, that you have to do, so, it's not even as easy as I thought it was going to be. It's just a quick step. Good? Yep. It's pretty. Somewhere between peanut butter and water. water. All right, so it's a couple hours later and we've got our self-leveling concrete subfloor substrate higher performance something mixed and ready to go in a five gallon pail. And if we have watched <laughs> enough videos on YouTube skimming through to what we think is the important parts, we think that we just need to dump this on the floor, use the old squeegee from the shower in the RV to kind of level out the uneven parts and guide it into areas that needs it, and then come back in the morning and hope that it works yeah. because honestly I don't even care if it doesn't work to be honest I'm like so checked out from it I honestly don't care we have power I'm over this like this needs to be done yeah. I need this building out of my life I need to just go back to walking past this on a daily walk you know and when we have power and water we're good um there's a little bit of dab right there we should get is it right there no, it, oh, is it over there? Or is it over there? Um, I think you just dump it in the middle and see how it goes. Kind of like when you feed pigs, you just jump, dump it in the trough. Oh, how do you find it? It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? I thought it was pretty easy. It's, I don't know, different. Yeah, I mean, it does all the work. It does it itself. All right, you're letting all the heat out. We're losing it. What do you think? Is that our best shot? I think it's the best shot. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Okay. No more playing with it. You know what they say, more than twice and you're playing. <laughs> Today was honestly such a long and kind of frustrating day. This building has really been taking a toll on us. It's been two months now since we started the interior of it. And while we've done a lot, it's also like we thought we'd be a lot further along. Yeah, which, it's, um, it's tiring. Yeah, and that kind of sums up everything around here. Like, it's very, very... Oh, hi. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh. He's I love you. You're such a good boy. He always knows when we're feeling a little down. And I think it's just because we always put these expectations on ourselves that... Oh, hi, big guy. Hi. I love my family so much. They are so sweet. Um, but yeah, we just have a lot of pressure that we put on ourselves that I don't think we really need to. And that's our goal for 2023 is to sort of get back into the fun of it all and just whatever we get done, celebrating the win instead of focusing on what didn't get done. Yeah, we, um, we've put, been putting a lot of pressure on ourselves lately. It's um, something we're really trying to take a more mindful approach on and 
Yeah, put our mental health first. Like these were two really long days and it should be enough, but we're like, I don't know. Plus we're also getting older. Yeah. I'm getting tired, you know? <laughs> Me bones. <laughs> Your weary bones. Anyway, right. I think we're gonna end the video here. Yeah. We're just feeling a little bit burnt out. So we're gonna pick you guys up next week, refreshed and ready to go. Yeah, well, okay. we'll see you then. Hey, well, bunny. Go have some puppy snuggles. Oh, that one was in my mouth. We'll see you next Sunday. <laughs> Bye.